everybody! I hope you're all having a great day. My name is Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. And today is kind of a blah day outside. So I thought I would come in here and paint with these gorgeous colors um, and, and kind of brighten up my day a bit. So um, I am working on a um, 8 by 16 canvas. And um, I'm going to be mixing, showing you how I mix these. Now these are the Prism Pour paints, and I have not used them. Um, I had, have not made a video using them. I have actually only really mixed up one color to try and then never got to it. So um, I've mixed up all of these colors here, and then I'm going to mix one on camera for you just so you can see how I did it. So I've got, um, I don't know all the names here, this one is Pink Diamond, that's the one I'm going to be mixing up for you, so I'll put that one there. And then I have got this one here, it is Violet Rose, and those colors are just gorgeous. Okay, the next one is Neptune's Gaze, and that is this one here. And you can just see the shimmer and the, oh man, they're so pretty, so pretty. And this one is Peach Dahlia. You can see that there. And the next one is Royal Sapphire. Here we go. Look at that color. It's just amazing. And then this one here is just a pretty, it's called Chantilly Lace. It's just a white, sparkly glittery, really, really pretty. Um, so, I'm going to move these. And I'm going to be doing a swipe today. So, um, that should be fun. I haven't swiped in a minute. And I thought, why not do that today? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mixing. And I'm going to be using Joe Sonia um, it is a gloss varnish, all right? So when you get your prism pour, I bought the, the set, you get like instruction, instructions and everything. So when I first mixed these up, I did mix a couple of them, the pink, um, and I mixed them a couple different ways. Now, the way that I prefer is with the Joe Sonia. Um, let me see. This one here is mixed with the American Floetrol. And I just want to show you, let me get a stir stick here. Oh my God, I've got a gazillion of them. Um, it, when you use the Floetrol, it just doesn't seem like the color is as sparkly um, as it is right here with the Joe Sonia. So I'm going to mix that up and then I can show you the difference. So let me scoop this up a bit. And I, I think it's cool that they give you uh, the directions for different, different kinds. So I'm following the bloom and swipe recipe, which calls for um, two parts of polypore or two parts enamel and varnish, one part prism pour. So I'm using a varnish. A gloss varnish so I'm going to do um, two parts of this of the gloss varnish and my part today is a uh, half of a tablespoon um, just because I didn't want to really make too much and I wanted to have some extra in case but um, I don't know with this size of canvas and who knows you never know sometimes if you need uh, a little bit more all right so there's two parts of the Joe Sonia, and then one part of the um, Prism Pour Pink Diamond. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right in there. Now, normally I don't use right after I make, but today is going to be an exception. Um, and then just mix that right up. And these mix up really nice. They're very nice and smooth and creamy and um, super, super easy to mix up. And that's pretty much it. Now, 
you can probably see that shimmer and then when you look at it with the with the um, flow trial I'm, I'm hoping that you guys can see the difference it's really really muted I guess it, it just kind of the glitter the shimmer is, is really not there um, and then I did a test piece with it and the color is pretty don't get me wrong the color is gorgeous uh, but it um, just it just um, didn't dry as nice and sparkly and uh, so that's why I kind of prefer the um, the gloss varnish with it because man that, that is just so so pretty all right so let me get my swipes out of the way here and then I'm going to coat my canvas with white and it's a mix of um, artist loft flow acrylic white with liquitex basics titanium white I usually mix it half and half and then pouring medium to consistency so that just depends on what your consistency is now this is a little is gonna be a little bit thinner um, I think normally um, I go like two and a half parts pouring medium so that's what I usually do it works for me and then I'm going to be using a cell activator which is um, Amsterdam titanium white mixed with Australian Floetrol and the way that I do that is I have one teaspoon of the Amsterdam titanium white to three tablespoons of the Australian Floetrol that's my recipe and I've used it for quite a while and it works really really good so I'm going to use that again today and I'm going to go ahead and just put some of this white white down and I've got it if you can see there I've got it on a um, spinner this is a different spinner than I normally use um, I got kind of lucky <laughs> it's a really nice spinner I guess I got kind of lucky because my neighbor was moving and she had a yard sale a while back and she had it in the yard sale for ten dollars and it's big look at look at that it's a nice big one I hadn't used it yet I kept kind of forgetting so I covered it with the um, I love using the glad press and seal to kind of keep things you know a little bit cleaner and um, so that's that so I'm gonna maybe spin it I wanted it on here just for just in case and you see I didn't really go over the edges I'm kind of just gonna pull that just to the edge just a little bit when I spin it it will you know take it take it over the edge there so I'm just gonna use my swipe tool these come in handy for all kinds of things smoothing out and all that stuff so so that is that and I am going to I think I'm, I'm not sure I've got my cap out because sometimes I'll put my cell activator in my cap and then dip it um, so we're gonna see how that goes <laughs> all right so I'm gonna start first with the pink and I've kind of tried to uh, I want it to be equal parts all the way across so sometimes it doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't work out for me but I'm gonna I kind of have it in my brain about how much I need to pour on there it doesn't always work though so we'll see but I'm going to start in a little bit just because if I spin it, it's going to go, um, it's going to stretch out anyway. So, and I don't know if you guys see these. Look at these little cups. They're perfect size to mix small amounts in. So, in these new stir sticks. I'm loving these new little stir sticks. They work amazing with these little cups. I'm feeling kind of klutzy today. I've already spilled... Um, which one did I spill? The, the um, I think it was the peach dahlia. I already spilled because <laughs> um, I've been a little klutzy today. I'm not sure why, a little shaky, but I guess it happens sometimes. All right. I think I've kind of got it pretty even there. All right. There we go. And then I did a little practice piece. Oh, geez, I almost spilled it again. <laughs> I did a little practice piece earlier, and I I kind of put some of this um, 
what is this one called? The Chantilly Lace. I put a little bit of that down. I think I'm actually just going to drizzle a little bit through through it here. Not a lot. Just a little bit because it just kind of gave it a little extra sparkle. Even though it's already pretty sparkly. So I'm just trying to, I'm just messing around since this is the first time that I've used these in an actual, you know, actual painting. And then right this middle part is where I'm going to swipe from. So that should pull some of this, you know, through. I'm trying to get a little bit more there. I can always add a little bit more, but it's not a lot coming off my stick there. Which is good sometimes, you don't want too much, so. Anyway. Alright, so that looks pretty good. These have really, like, spread out quite a bit. Alright, so. See, I've got my cap there. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit down in the cap. You can see that. And then, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this size of my swipe tool so I gotta make sure that I get it all covered and sometimes I actually just apply it on the back from the bottle so it just depends all right so here we go All right, everybody, so here we go with the dried photos, and it dried really, really nice. I am super happy with the results, and I did a macro video for you so you could see how shiny and glittery, shimmery these paints are. Uh, they, It's just beautiful. Look at all of that detail. Um, I'm really enjoying these Prism Pour paints. And the colors are so vibrant. They really are worth the money. A little bit uh, goes a long way with these paints. All right, guys, I would love to hear what you think, so leave me a comment below. And if you got anything out of my video today, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed already, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you are notified when I upload new videos. And one way that really helps out my channel is to share this video. So if there's someone you think may enjoy it, go ahead and share it with them. And don't forget to check out acrylicpouringtools.com. 
acrylicsmithsandmagic.com for all of your acrylic pouring tool needs. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today, and I have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well, and I will catch you in the next one.